this is going to be very controversial in terms of a shoe. I know a lot of you, your heads are going to explode. You're going to be like, oh my God, Cara, I hate those. Those are gross. I can't believe you got those. Blah, 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 blah. Do I care though? Thanks to J. Crew for sponsoring this video. I have been waiting to do this video for so long. Oh, I just can't wait to wear these for fall. <laughs> Hi guys, all right, so I'm just gonna get stuck right in. Um, I'm gonna show you all the pieces that I cannot wait to wear as it gets colder, as well as other pieces that's in my wardrobe. I'm gonna just get stuck in right away and show you all the things that I, when it's colder, do not tell me that there are not things that you think, God, I can't wait to wear those. I can't wait to wear those boots. I can't wait to wear tweed. I can't wait to wear this bomber jacket. I can't wait to wear blazers. I can't wait to wear insert. I know that there are things that I cannot wait to wear um, as it gets colder and I'm literally, I'm gonna just share them right now. Okay, number one. I cannot wait to start wearing blazers, obviously. And with J. Crew, I wanted to show you some of the new um, fall autumn pieces that I personally loved and I just thought I had to put them in this video as well. One is this tweed blazer. I love, I don't know gonna talk about how much I like blazers. I think it's a given by now on my channel. But this one is that gorgeous chocolate kind of brown and it's a tweed. I love that it's tweed material. I think that's the main thing about it. And it's just got like a normal kind of cut, but I got it so it's slightly oversized, just very, very, very slightly. Obviously you can wear it so it's like pushed up on the sleeves, but I just like the idea of just wearing it like a slim jean. A blazer will go over anything, but like a slim jean, it looks really good. This one is from um, J. Crew as well. I'll, I'll link everything below. I just love the wash of this. This is just a sports bra but I just like the wash of this and just the, the color is perfect. I like the rise of it as well. It's like a slimmer cut on me, but it's not like sausage factory where your legs feel like an encased sausage, where it's the skinniness is just too tight and you can't breathe. It's like a relaxed skinny. That's probably the best way to describe it. I'm gonna show you in the mirror now, hold on. This is how you can see it a bit better on me. So I wore it with their over the knee boot. Now I'm five foot seven, my knee is like right there and so it does go past it. And I like the idea of wearing like a tall, flat boot because it's really, really comfortable. So I put it on with the jeans and the jeans are slim enough to tuck into the boots perfectly. And I like that the boots, again, they don't feel like too like tight on my leg, but this is the blazer together so you can see the whole look. It feels almost kind of equestrian vibe, you know, with my hair back, just like that. But it's the color scheme that I really like. This is like classic autumn right, with the caramel, and they got like this kind of chestnut chocolatey tweed color in the blazer. The hardware on it, on the blazer, is really nice. It's like kind of brass colored buttons, which I like. So it's not like that shiny, gaudy type. It's like a sort of bronzy color, which is really nice. Almost feels like slightly vintage -y. For fall, this is the kind of thing I'm definitely gonna be wearing, which is blazers. Love this look together. Let me show you the next look from them. Next up is knit knits and more knits, especially knits in skirts and dresses. I'm really looking forward. I cannot wait to wear that kind of stuff for the season. This one from J. Crew is gorgeous. It is a neutral, like a creamy kind of color and it is a wrap. Look, right here, it's a wrap. And look at the other side of it. Look at, the, look at that. The inside of it is like a caramel color. Actually, it's like a I'm not going to say the word, but it's like a caramel color. And I love that because you know when you wear a wrap skirt, look, when you're walking, you get that flash of the underside. And I like that you can, the flash that you're going to get is going to be this, which I think is absolutely genius that they thought of that. It can go around multiple times. I'll show you in a minute without this jacket, like without the blazer um, done up. I just wanted to belt the blazer so you could see how it looks. And I just turned up the collar because I like the turns of lapels up because sometimes they have a really nice contrasting color and I like that one underneath this one but I just picked an old belt that I've got just so you can get the idea and I teamed it with a pair of their boots this is another pair and I love the cut of these boots because it's like the 60s look look at that that kind of mod cut look at that heel that something if I can close in I love look at that cut it's gorgeous. It just looks so much more expensive than what it really is. It comes up to below my knee 
and I just like the fact that it's perfect to wear just tucked under like your long midi skirts, midi dresses, anything quite on the longer side and it just disappears underneath and so when you're walking all you get is this gorgeous column of like different materials like you've got the leather of the boot and I love that it's this kind of like a creamy kind of colour again shade down from the skirt but it works all with the whole autumnal kind of colour scheme. This is the blazer undone, so you can actually see the skirt a bit better. I actually tied it there at the back, can you see? But you can wrap, these ties are very, very long, and you can just wrap it around as many times as you want around your middle, and then you could either have it hang right in the middle, hang it so it hangs and ties here on the side of your hip, which I love, um, or just do what I did and just have it tied at the back. And I love that, that it's that versatile, but this is a must for me. This is, um, boy, this with knits. And I love that I'm not really wearing black clothes or black boots, because you don't have to do that for the fall. And I think you're just gonna stand out and just look so much, it just looks so chic to be wearing something like this instead of the usual, like, let's dress head to toe in black. I like that the skirt is like quite high rise. It's up to you how high you put it on your waist. The whole thing is extremely comfortable. It has no like fixed waistband. The whole thing is like one giant knit, but in a skirt form. So I put it quite high up on my waist because sometimes if you don't want to have your tummy showing, and I just think it looks kind of chicer that way too. Another pair of jeans. I've kept the same blazer. I wanted to show you how these jeans are. These are the Slouchy boyfriend jean, I think it's called. I love these. These for fall are gonna be freaking brilliant. Look, I'm wearing them kind of low rise. Um, I'm actually wearing them like a size up because I love this kind of slouchy tomboy vibe it's giving me. It's got, the jeans are the perfect name and the fact they're called slouchy boyfriend. Look at that, that rinse of them. The color is just dark enough as well. Look how nice that blue, that color blue is. That's, that is such, that's such a pretty blue. And I'm just wearing it slouched with these J. Crew boots. They have a little bit of a stacked wood heel, and I'm just wearing them slouched down. These actually fit like a straight cut on the leg, like shaft wise. They're just a straight cut, but I kind of scrunch them down a little bit because I like that kind of vibe. It feels kind of 80s. It feels like, I don't know, just kind of just really relaxed. This is very Karen the way I've styled this look to me. Something cropped here, or just like, obviously when it's cooler, I would wear it with a polo neck. Cannot wait. Just this with a skinny polo neck, the blazer, tweed. Then you've got like the slouchy boyfriend jean on. This is great. <laughs> This is a bit of Karen on the stick here. So I quickly put the boots up like the proper way they're supposed to be worn. So you can actually see how, you know, the proper cut of them. Again, I like the fact that it's got like this stacked wood heel. It feels kind of like vintagey at the same time. I've picked this piece from J. Crew, and I, I love this. And I cannot wait to wear this as it gets colder. This with the shirts, like just long sleeve. You can wear like a long sleeve shirt underneath this. Just keep it long and just have it so it shows a little bit underneath, just a little bit in that long sleeve. And you just got this on top. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's just long enough to hit both marks. I like the idea of wearing it just the way it is as well. Um, it's got slits on the side. It's just long enough where you could just get away with wearing either um, a denim mini skirt under it, um, a wool skirt under it, that's shorter, but it peaks out um, a pair of just like cycling shorts. If you just want to wear it just like this, but you just want to wear something underneath. Also, don't forget when it gets cooler, you'll wear tights as well. So you're going to have the tights here and then you've got like the, the boot. And I flung on the first pair of boots from J. Crew that I had on, which is the over knee ones. And I wore those because I like the idea of just being a little sliver of skin. Look at the way it hits over the shoulder. It's so nice. I'll let you know all the sizes that I have on so you can check the description box. And it's got a ribbing to it as well, look. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, can't wait to wear this kind of stuff for fall. Also, I just quickly tried the same knit with a pair of jeans and it actually works like just as a top, like a proper top. See, cause I just did like a front tuck. The back, I just, look at that. Just left the back long, right? See that slit right there? Just left it like that, and then you can just have a tuck at the front. 
and I thought it looked really nice just like this and I like the collar is the neck of it is nice and high but I just want to quickly show you how it just looks with um, jeans as well and just a pair of boots another thing I can't wait to wear for fall is bright pieces I know I've said this before was it the style hacks video it was it was like the style hacks or tricks and stuff I'll link that video um, below for you if you've not seen it these are the things that I look forward to doing every single fall and I do them every single fall but I'm doing it a lot more now I've wrapped it up this season I love to wear just punches because it's so dark everyone's wearing like dark clothes in general especially New York New York is like as you know it's like the it's the epicenter of the uniform of black how to wear black you want to know that come to New York on the trip you'll see exactly what to do I like the idea of just like throwing a spanner in the works and just like wearing something really bright this top for example I love it it doesn't have to be a piece of clothing but I love it in a piece of clothing I also wore this with a yellow pant look at this right here this is what I'm talking about but if you don't want to do it like that you could split it up because I'm also going to show you that same pant that I wore here with a trench coat which is very neutral everything else was much more uh, subdued and I let the pants shine let that shine all by itself but that's the kind of thinking I'm talking about take baby steps into it I love the idea this is I cannot wait to wear it. look accessories look do it with glasses these these are gorgeous I love these it's that gorgeous green that is so in at the moment for this season I can't get enough of Kelly green it's one of my favorite colors regardless anyway so it's really being like put to the forefront at the moment but it's one of my favorite colors I wouldn't wear this particular shade with this but I'm just showing you just look just look at me from like neck up if I was wearing dark colors and I put this on this is such a simple way to add something like just bright in your, in your wardrobe but I cannot wait to wear bright colors this as well I cannot wait to wear the jogging because it's so cute it's so sweet and it's just the perfect vibrant color and I get so many compliments when I wear this bloody thing it's coming out as kind of like a a really cool toned color and I'm not sure why this is kind of washing me out I need to figure the settings out but it's coming out desaturated even I'm coming out desaturated but it's much more rich and um, saturated than you're seeing on the camera this is absolutely gorgeous I'll show you here a truer color of what it looks like on my Instagram I cannot wait to wear this little thing I want you to tell me in the comments below what other things in your wardrobe because you don't have to have bought them new what other things that you cannot wait to wear for the fall that's why I'm so excited about this video is because when it gets colder there are certain things and I've said this before that I cannot wait to wear when it gets colder like I'll look at it and go boy I can't wait to rock that when it gets colder bright colors is one of them another one in terms of accessories I already showed this on Tuesday's video if you've not seen Tuesday's video and what I got for my birthday I'll link it here in the cards and also you can have a look in the description box I cannot wait to wear this, this number I'm not even going to explain it to you so if anyone's going to it's going to say to me what the hell when did you get that what tell me the story you can check the video below because I'm not going to talk about it anymore it's stunning but this clashed with dark coats black coats navy coats charcoal gray coats just darkness and you put this on this is the only color the flash that you're wearing this looks stunning in the fall and I cannot bright colors in the fall I can't wait there are certain shoes this in itself is a category but there's certain shoes I can't wait to wear I'm just gonna get stuck in loafers loafers a good chunky ass loafer something like this oh my lord I got these because they actually remind me of wallabies who remembers wallabies in, in the UK but these remind me of those they've got that kind of this area it's got that kind of cut right there from that part but these are so comfortable I keep saying how comfortable these are but even though they've got like the monogram all over them they look so subdued and neutral because the color is so dark it's a bit like my 1955 that's also got like monogram all over it but it feels vintagey because they used to do them like that before back in the day plus it's done in a neutral palette same with this it's a neutral color but it's that chunk it's the chunk for me that's the kind of thing that I cannot wait to wear it's just a good chunky I oh 
It was really warm this summer in New York and it still is. But as it drops, this is going to be on my foot and I love them. I picked them up last year. Was it last year? I feel like it was. Anyway, I picked these up and I walked into the shop and I just tried them on and went, yes, because they fit so comfortably. And then also, not forgetting, these I know were definitely from last year. I've had these for about a year now and I love them. They still look as good as the day I got them. They, in terms of like the style of them, because I think that this is like a retro style that also is just not going to go anywhere. That heft, the way it looks like, is just a stunning loafer to wear. There are so many chunky shoes though out there that you can wear. You don't have to go for shoes like this, but I'm just trying to show you the category. I can't wait to wear, God, I can't wait to wear these! God, I want to wear these straight away. These, and God, if I could wear one on each foot, obviously I can't. But this is the kind of thing I cannot wait to wear. The next one I'm going to show you, this is going to be very controversial in terms of a shoe. I know a lot of you, your heads are going to explode. You're going to be like, oh my God, Cara, I hate those. Those are gross. I can't believe you got those. Blah, 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 blah. Do I care though? I can't wait to show you. <sighs> yes, you can probably tell from the sole. Yes, yes, I got the tabby loafers. These look so nice on and what I like is that the bottom can go down so you can wear it like a slide. So I have had my eye on tabbies for a very, very long time. It's such a casual, unique look to have these and you have to truly own your sense of self, your sense of style to wear them for obvious reasons. I know that probably the majority of you looking at this are going to absolutely hate them. Your heads have exploded already, I'm sure. but doesn't matter because it's not your feet wearing them it's mine i love these oh, god and they're so comfortable i cannot wait to wear them oh i forgot to add in these shoes as well these i cannot wait to wear because i know i talked a lot about like the chunky kind of loafer but i also like the idea of just wearing a really cool vintage normal loafer or shoe kind of something that looks like it came from the men's section for sure and actually these did and these are like i said these are vintage and they look i don't need to come closer look at that they are gorgeous they're so precious look those they, these were a find and a half these men's shoes are one of the best if not probably the best vintage shoe i own in fact they are hands down. They look so much more expensive than what they are. I love, I cannot say how much I love these, in fact I said it enough, but yeah, can't, can't wait to wear these for the fall. Now in terms of jackets, I have three in my hand which I know, because I had to really think about it because I have a lot of outerwear pieces and they're all very special. I, I really curate those and I love them all, so I can't wait to wear all of them for fall, but I picked three. I'm just going to put them down here and start with one of them. You can already see. Here is one. It is a vintage leather trench coat in a gorgeous caramel colour, like a toffee brown, I call this. It's like toasted toffee goodness on a stick. It's so 70s vibe meets shaft. It's beautiful. I picked this up from Amacord Vintage in Williamsburg. I love this. The flat pockets, that large cut, that collar. This, look, I'm already like, I can't even be bothered. I'm just going to put it on now, even though it's really warm outside. I don't care. Because this one, look. I can't wait. Oh God, it looks good with this. I found an outfit on camera with you. I love how this looks together. Again, Everything's coming out a bit desaturated. This looks richer in person. This I'm wearing looks much sort of deeper and richer and darker in person, but it's still vibrant. That's probably why it's coming out so bright because it's a vibrant, but rich, darker Kelly green. But you get the point. Look how, look how good this looks together. Bright, I cannot wait to wear. This toffee brown kind of, I love every single fall. I always look for a 70s vibe, Thing to wear from my wardrobe because it just looks so badass and this is one of the, oh, look at that you can't tell me 
crap. I can't tell me shit. This, this looks so good. Oh my god, this, this looks god, I haven't screamed in a while. This is so nice. I cannot wait to wear this. Please, I'm telling you, tell me in the comments what you can't wait to wear for fall. I want to know what are those screen worthy pieces, the pieces that's like stamp of approval. I can't wait to wear this when it gets cooler. This is another one. This I cannot oh, what? I cannot wait to wear it. Oh my god! Okay, it's not working. Let me just, you know what? I'm gonna to cut to showing you on my vlogging camera because you need to see how this looks. Hold on, wait, you need to see how this looks together properly. The colour. Better. This is how it looks. Because when I was standing over there, you couldn't see, but this is kind of how it looks in person. See, it's a little bit richer, it's more saturated. I should just film with this. Maybe I will. This coat it's lightweight enough where you can wear it during the fall but it's also really warm it's 100 percent wool wool this way also it's reversible you can wear it this way around but i never do i always wear it this way but i love the look but when you're walking you've got that little flash at the same time there is no real hard structure to this coat so it has like drop shoulders um, i love how long it is on the arm as well and it just, it's just such a nice sort of blankety feel just to like have this as you're walking down the street. And I love to do this, like turn up the collar. Cause look, look, at the, look under the collar. It's the same check, it goes all the way up. So you just feel like you're enveloped in all of this checked goodness. God, look at that. That, so nice. It's almost like a built-in scarf when you do that. You can wear any kind of loafer that's just got that kind of chunky vibe. The vibe is on chunkiness. That's the whole look, but this, this outfit, I cannot wait to wear for fall. Look at that. I'm going to refer back to this video to do um, outfits for my Instagram. I just switched to this other blazer that I cannot wait to wear this season. It is one of my favorite finds. I picked it up last year. It is a deliberately boxy, oversized tweed blazer. The shoulders are exaggerated, so they're much bigger. It has just two buttons. The cut of this is superbness. Look at the back. There's a box pleat back there, so it adds extra width. So it has like an A-line kind of flare kick to it. So when you're walking, this kind of sticks out a bit. It's just really, really good. I cannot wait to wear this. It's such a great piece. I'm so glad I invested and took the plunge and got this because it's as good today as it was yesterday, as it was last year when I got it. It is made of recycled wool. It's like a sustainably made piece in terms of the materials on it. It's great, it is so nice. Look at that, see that? The way that kind of kicks out there under my elbow at the back. The way it goes like that way. This, this is what I look for. That, that little, see that little fishtail when it goes back there, the extra fabric? That's what makes it it's freaking brilliant. Next thing, trousers. I can't wait to start wearing trousers. Oh gosh, I can't, I can't, oh boy. I can't wait to start wearing trousers. Just gorgeous, forgiving on the frame for us girls and guys. Nothing too tight, but just skims and just wide leg, cargo, balloon cut, banana cut I call them. I can't wait to wear them for fall. I cannot. These are just one of the pairs I cannot wait to wear. These are from the clothing line that I came up with. I did not put this particular color into production. That was my choice. I kind of wish I did because now I'm like looking at the going, oh yeah, I love, I love this color. It's a wide leg. This is a detachable belt. Some of you have already started to get your shipments and you've already said you've got deliveries of them. I went into production with this color, which is like a taupey, just a neutral color. It's exactly the same pant though. Same thing, just two different colors. But I just, they, this is the fit. I'm just showing you on where the blue ones. But I cannot wait to wear pants like this in the fall because it looks so good on. Please tag me on Instagram when you are wearing these in your stories, on your feed. This color combination is so good. You know what I'm doing, right? I'm looking for like what I'm gonna wear with it. Hang on! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Let's see. Oh crap! Oh, mama, this looks so good. This is why I can't. Okay, let me just show you the cutaways because you're probably thinking, what the heck does this look like? Oh, look at that column of goodness! That wide leg. Oh. 
hits the ground. Yes, mama. Oh God, so good. This color combo is fire. It's absolute fire together. I, ca I cannot wait to wear wide leg pants. Tell me this is not good, right? What? What? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. The taupe colour, I'm going to be wearing the hell out of those because those look so good like with cream, like a cream blazer or um, this kind of blazer or a darker blazer or even like dark blacks, blacks it looks good with as well. It's just such a good neutral piece. I cannot wait to wear that. I'm gonna wear both of them because I have both of them. The same thing applies to my cargo pants. I'm not even gonna put them on. This is not like a try on haul or anything of what I've already got, sorry. It's these cargo pants on the screen, two colors again, and those aren't available anymore. I cannot wait to wear those. I have already been wearing them. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see in my stories, I've been wearing them quite a lot. Right, so for the last category, it is boots and there are two pairs that are screaming at me right now actually three pairs but two in particular that i can't i cannot wait to wear for fall hold on let me show you right now i have a cardboard in them to keep their shape but it is these boots i freaking love these they are so good on i just think these look so great with like wool leggings and then i just slip these on on top of the leggings and all you've got is just like this stomping boot, which looks so nice. And I like that the leg, again, just like that J. Crew boot, it's wide, the shaft of it is wide. And I really like that they did that. And it just fits so nicely. And these are great. They're all rubber. They feel very equestrian as well. They have like this strip of leather that goes up the back and this little loop. That's what gives it that kind of equestrian vibe. And I like as well, just like the J. Cruz, the way they cut them, they don't go in. That's such a pet peeve. Stop making boots that go in and then out like that. Stop it. Stop it. If you don't know how to do it, hire me. I will tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm serious, I would actually just design my own actually. Hmm. Design my own boot. <laughs> anyway, point is I don't like when they just you know the shape I'm talking about. These are so fantastic. I'm really glad that I got these. Okay, another boot I can't wait to wear. Now these are new in. I haven't shown them before on my YouTube channel, but I'm gonna show you these now. Instagram people, you already know, you've seen these already. But for YouTubers who haven't seen them. Bring them right here. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, and I've already worn them too. It is these. These fantastic soul, big kick ass soul, literally, boots. They lace up, they're black, and the soul is everything. And that stitch, look at that. Look at that contrast stitch though. Oh. Look, it goes all the way around the shoe, like all the way around the back. It's so well made. Le leather lines throughout as well. The quality of these is superb. The high end, these are investment when I got these. These are like my grown up Doc Martens <laughs> for me. But I like the interest of them with the fact that it has that lug sole. This is Karen in a boot. These with my cargoes, oh gosh, these, I'm going to end it there, these with my cargoes, enough said. But anyway, these are the things that I cannot wait to wear for fall. There's other boots here that I can't wait, oh, I'll just quickly show you, but these, these, look, you know these already, but I love these, I've had these for like two years now, two years running, and they're amazing. These are what you want to wear when it's raining, because patent leather, when it rains, is fantastic. I can't wait to wear these. This with a skirt, like a midi skirt, and you put these on. Do you know how that's going to casualize and make it look so badass when you add this to it? I'm done. I'm gone. I will see you on Tuesday. See you for Tuesday's video. I'm on Instagram between now and then, as you lot know. I'm also on TikTok. Check me out there, Karen Bridgick, same name, I keep it nice and easy for you. Take care my loves, don't forget, check the J Crew stuff below, check everything out below, everything is down in the description box. I'm done, can't wait to wear these things.
for fall. Tell me what you cannot wait to wear for fall. I want to know. I need to be nosy and see what's in your wardrobe. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is you telling me what you can't wait to wear for fall. So I have an idea of how you guys dress and what kind of things you gravitate to for fall. I'm done. I'm going to stop talking. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you've got some inspo for fall and if it got you excited for fall, because I know I am. If you're excited for fall, thumbs up this video because I can't, oh, if you can't tell, I can't wait. Anyway, I'm done. Have a good weekend. Bye. See you on Instagram. Bye. Thanks to J Crew for sponsoring this video.